think what gets you here is really just not like not being afraid to fail. It's like such a like a almost a cheesy line is like embrace failure or like lean into it or whatever. But that is what stops great art from happening is this fear that when you put it out you will be judged for it and that uh, that it'll hurt too much. It's good to be alive right about now. Woohoo! Good, 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 good to be alive right about now. Every artist does share the moment where they are not doing something to the moment where they start doing something. And busking for me was just that true moment of like, all right, I, I need to play because I know that I'm uh, not good. <laughs> and I know that I need reps in like playing my songs. So the street performing was really cool because I went out and I didn't have any songs that anybody cared about. And I started covering all these different songs and no one cared. And then I covered Maroon 5 Sunday morning. Sunday morning rain is falling. That's the first time that my voice hit its sweet spot in front of people. And I remember watching like, oh, there's a crowd now. When I'm done with this song, there's like 10 people there. I'm like, okay. And then I'd like end the song and be like, things are going good today. Be like, hey there Delilah. And they'd all leave. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. I'm gonna take the, the feedback I'm getting here, and my first album is basically me just trying to write Sunday Morning for myself. A street performer is, just has tons of market research the whole day. And that was a really great way to do some of the demystifying around creativity. The first song we got on the radio is a song called Keep Your Head Up, and that was the first song that I had on a big level that was really doing a service for people. They'd hear it and they wanted it. And it's really hard to create a song that someone needs. That's so hard to do. That is so hard. It is really easy to write like a good song. It's actually not that hard at this point having written so many that's like to write a great song. That's a great song. To write a song that when someone hears it, they go like, what is that? I need that. And to get that is super rare and special. It's like finding buried treasure. Uh, and so I think as songwriters, we're like hunters for that type of thing. A lot of what goes into being a rock star is that you have the, the lights go on before you come out and there's like smoke and then you walk out and everybody cheers and it's kind of this feeling that like, I am so awesome, right? And the truth is that the only way you get there is that super humble uh, showing up every day at Creativity's door and being like, I'm just, a, I'm terrible and I'm here again to try. Like that is the truth of how it actually goes. Because if you just do it and someone steps on your thing that you made, the truth is it hurts like hell, but then that's Monday. You have to be able to operate at a level where you're just like rolling through and you care more about the doing than uh, what people are gonna think about what, what you've done. And if you are someone that just does, I promise you, you will be sitting on a bus like this. Hey, this is Andy Grammer, and I'm on board the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus, and it's awesome. Imagine peace. It's like, have you had a good time this evening? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's been such an awesome night for me and for the band, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yo, 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 oh, oh. So warm up your voices, and I want to hear you nice and loud on this one when it comes around. Hey, 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 hey. Sunday morning rain is falling, I like that.